Hello, this is Rachel from The Shades of Orange. Today I want to do a very exciting book haul talking about all the horror and thriller books I've recently received in the mail. Let's get started. First, I want to talk about The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorshin, which I received from the author. This follows a man who moves back to his hometown to care for his ailing father. Him and his wife move into an old farmhouse. And because the main character is an audiobook narrator, he sets up the basement of this home as a recording studio. But of course, this home may be haunted and he starts to hear strange things show up on his recordings. I really like the angle of the audiobook narration. As someone who listens to a ton of audiobooks and also edits the audio files for our podcast, I'm very interested to see how that's gonna be handled and I'm hoping it's just super creepy. You might know that while I love horror, I don't always get along with these haunted house stories, which is kind of ironic considering it's sort of the bread and butter of the genre, but I'm very hopeful that this is gonna be one I'm gonna love. I've heard amazing things about it on Instagram and Goodreads. It's supposed to have a lot of emotional depth and I've heard it's quite creepy, so I can't wait to check it out for myself. So I will be reporting back. Now the next book has a little bit of a story behind it, and that is Korean Road by Brian Scutt. This I accepted from the author and I gave him my P.O. box. However, he ended up sending it by courier, which if you know, is not something that P.O. boxes are normally set up to receive. So there was a bit of a mail mix up. And so one day during work, I got a call that went like this. Someone called and said, hello, and I'm like, Yes, is this Rachel? Oh, yes it is. And they said, this is the RCMP. Are you the Shades of Orange? And I just died of embarrassment. First off, I assumed that someone was stalking me. I had no idea why the RCMP was calling about my internet book handle. If you know me, I'm actually quite cautious about giving out like my last name or my specific location in Canada online, so I was really nervous that something had gone horribly, horribly wrong. Well, once we got into the actual phone conversation, it turned out that they had accidentally received a package that was intended for me, and they did some reverse engineering, and were able to figure out who I was and get a hold of my phone number to track me down. They had felt up the package and told me using their expert Mountie investigation skills and said, well, it looks like it's a book. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably for me. And this ended up being the book that they had accidentally accepted. And so it kind of gave me a heart attack and involved a trip down to the Canadian Mounties office to pick it up. So all that being said, this book had caused me a lot of trouble, but I'm definitely glad I received it still. As I might have mentioned, it is a novella, so it's quite short, and you know I love horror novellas. I love short fiction when it comes to horror. It just tends to get to the point and really pack a punch. This particular story follows a former Marine who is haunted by the death of one of his fellow soldiers. And I believe it's set long after he is retired when he's now an old man. And I'm curious to see how it's gonna handle the story. I don't know if it's more of a realistic horror or if it's actually going to go into some supernatural places, like if the guy is literally being haunted or if it's more of a figurative haunting. But regardless, definitely excited to check it out for myself. I understand that the author was previously in the Navy, so he has that background, which I really appreciate. And I'm, again, just excited to see where it goes and just find out if this little book was worth all the trouble and emotional turmoil that it caused me coming in the mail. So I'll definitely be reporting back with this one soon as well. Now I wanna talk about Breaking the World by Jerry Gordon. And this I received from Apex Books. This is coming out quite quickly on April 19th, so I've already started reading it in anticipation of the release date. This follows a group of teenagers that are living in a cult. It's set back in the 90s and actually follows the true story of David Koresh, who was, of course, the leader of the cult in Waco, Texas, that was attacked by the FBI. I was quite young when those events happened, so I'm not actually overly familiar with the original story. I think everyone's you know, vaguely familiar with it, but I wasn't familiar with all the details. 
And I, as I mentioned, have started reading this and I can tell you it's very action packed, it's very fast paced, and it's fascinating. The main characters, these teenagers, are non-believers that are just roped into the situation because their parents of course believed in David being anointed by God and the story starts with the FBI basically attacking this church and the story goes from there. It also has an apocalyptic angle because at the same time there is a breakout of some kind of epidemic at the Mexican border and the story takes the events but really goes to a place of alternate history so this is a bit dystopian, a bit apocalyptic a bit horror and just a mix of so many different things. So I'm really excited to check this one out and I just think it's going to be just super fast paced and I do love a really good punchy horror story. So I will be reporting back with this one as well. Now I wanna talk thrillers and I received The Forgotten Ones by Stina Holmes. This I got a copy of from the publicist Creative Edge and this author has written a lot of women's fiction and contemporary, which isn't really my thing, but I understand that this is her breakout into the world of psychological thrillers, which definitely is more my style. This follows a young woman who has a difficult relationship with her mother. She has memories of her growing up which are possibly repressed or just a little bit blurry as to what really happened in her childhood. And she believes that her grandfather died years ago, but then finds out that he is now only dying and has basically been alive all this time. It sounds like it's a story full of family secrets and goes to some dark places. Given the synopsis, I have some ideas of what those secrets are, but I'll have to see for myself. I'm not entirely sure where the psychological aspect is gonna come in. I certainly hope that it's gonna surprise me and have some twists and turns because it more sounds like a very dark family drama, but we shall see. And either way, I'll definitely be reporting back. The cover, as you can see, is absolutely gorgeous. And this is a Canadian author, which is something I'm really excited about because I do try to support and read more books by Canadians. And just, yeah, I will report back once I know more. Now the next book is one of my most anticipated releases for the year. So I was really excited when Penguin Random House Canada gave me an advanced reader copy. And this is Providence by Carolyn Kepnes, who of course is the author of You, which is one of my all time favorite thrillers. And this one is quite different, which I'm happy about. I like that she's gone in a different direction and isn't just trying to copy her own story. This one follows a young couple. They are friends growing up, but possibly more than that, possibly soulmates. But the boy John is kidnapped by one of his teachers and held hostage and captive, which I always love in books. And now years later, he has escaped and is coming looking for Chloe, the love of his life. It sounds like he has some kind of supernatural powers and that really intrigues me. Her other books didn't have anything paranormal or supernatural about them, but this one possibly does if I'm understanding the synopsis right. And the book also has some kind of a horror aspect to it because the teacher who kidnaps John is obsessed with Lovecraft. So I believe this book is going to mirror one of Lovecraft's stories. And I've not actually read any Lovecraft, but I'm definitely interested to delve into it and find out how that relates. And I'm just so excited for this one. I hope it just blows me away. I've been looking for a thriller that is just going to be something different. And I have high, high hopes for this one. So I am planning on reporting back with hopefully a full review of it. So let me know if you're excited about it as I am because I just need to know what this is all about. So I'm probably gonna read this sooner than later. The book actually comes out in June, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold off until then. I might just read this right away. And finally, I received two more thrillers from Penguin Random House Canada. The first one being Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. This I received unsolicited and it just showed up in the mail one day with some tasty snacks, which I have now eaten. But this book follows a young woman who has just become a mother herself. And in the process, she is contemplating the fact that both her parents committed suicide and as she has bonded with her own child, she really wonders how her parents could have done that to her, how they could have just given up their lives and left her alone. 
and she receives a message implying that her parents' suicide may not have actually been that instead they may have been murdered and so she takes off to investigate what really happened to her parents. I have tried reading this one but this book is so much about motherhood and the bond of mother and child that it's just too emotional for me right now and it's one I did have to put down. I'm going to try to pass it off to one of my friends who is a mom who will probably really enjoy this one. It's nice that it's a thriller that isn't about a child in harm, instead it's more about her and her parents but I have heard good things about it. It's just one that I'm not emotionally ready to handle, so I may not get to this one myself, unfortunately. And the last one in this haul is The Chalk Man by C.J. Tudor, which I did request from Penguin Random House Canada because I heard such buzzy things about it. And unfortunately, it wasn't quite my style. As you might have heard, it follows a group of boys that go around with chalk and use that chalk to communicate with each other. There's a bit of a mystery going on because a person has been found dead in their community. It's very reminiscent of the book It by Stephen King, but it just didn't quite capture what I wanted to and I just found it a little bit underwhelming. I am in the minority. Everyone else I know loves this book, so despite my mediocre feelings about it, I do still encourage you to check it out for yourself. So that's it. Those are all the books I've recently received. I'd love to know which one you are most excited about. Is there a particular one you'd like me to do a separate review for? And as always, if you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts as well. But I hope to do more of these horror and thriller book hauls in the future because I've just really been in love with the genres again. And I just can't wait to dive into all the books that I haven't read yet and hopefully come back with some really great reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye. Okay,